Greetings and salutations, dear viewers. Get ready for some fantastic content. Welcome, curious minds, to our video that explores the ins and outs of Andrew Higginson. Andrew Higginson, born 13 December 1977, is an English professional snooker player from Widnes, Cheshire. He is best known for being the surprise finalist of the 2007 Welsh Open. Now, it's time to shift gears and explore early years. After some success in amateur tournaments, Higginson turned professional for the season after finishing third on the Challenge Tour. He remained there for five seasons before dropping off, after encountering limited success. He won a place back on the tour for after finishing second on the Pontins International Open Series. Now, let's dig deeper into Breakthrough and unveil the hidden treasures it holds within. Higginson reached the televised stages of a ranking tournament for the first time at the 2007 Malta Cup, where he beat Steve Davis before losing to Ken Doherty at the last 16. At the very next tournament, the 2007 Welsh Open, Higginson hit an extraordinary run of form, defeating Marco Fu. John Higgins from Down, Michael Judge, Ollie Carter making his first professional 147 break in the process and Stephen Maguire to reach the final. As he had spent the season on the secondary challenge tour, he was the first unranked player to reach a ranking final since Terry Griffiths won the world title in 1979. At the end of the first session of the final, he trailed to Neil Robertson. In the second session, Higginson managed to take the lead and change the score to, but Robertson recovered to level the scores at and force a deciding frame, which he won. Higginson earned £20,000 sterling for his 147 break, £2,000 sterling for the highest break and £17,500 sterling for being the runner-up. As we enter this new phase, let's uncover the impact of subsequent career on our broader topic. Despite his good season, Higginson failed to qualify for the 2007 World Championship, losing to Ricky Walden in the third qualifying round. His performance in the Welsh Open and Malta Cup brought him to 44th in the rankings and 24th on the one-year list. The following season proved tougher, with Higginson only qualifying for one event the 2008 Welsh Open again. However, he qualified for the 2008 Grand Prix, losing to Mark Selby in the last 32. He then beat Jamie Jones and Michael Judge to make his crucible debut in the 2009 World Championship, giving eventual finalist Sean Murphy a test, leading before losing. In the next phase, we'll be immersing ourselves in the realm of and exploring its real-world applications. Higginson won his first professional title during the season at the Minor Ranking Players Tour Championship Event 5, where he beat reigning world champion John Higgins in the final. He played in all 12 of the PTC events and finished 6th on the order of merit, comfortably inside the top 24 who qualified for the finals. At the finals he beat Jamie Jones and Zhao Gudong before losing to Stephen Lee in the semi-finals. He qualified for all but three of the other ranking events during the season. In the German Masters he led Ronnie S. Sullivan in the best of nine frames first round match before being defeated having missed a pot in the sixth frame that would have left Sullivan requiring snookers to stay in the tournament. He finished the season by reaching the last 16 of the World Championship after defeating Stephen Lee in the first round. There he trailed Jamie Jones after two sessions, but rallied to level at before Jones won three successive frames to take the match. Higginson finished the season ranked world number 18, meaning he had climbed seven places during the year. Now, we shift our focus to a topic that deserves our attention. Due to non-entries among the top 16 players, Higginson was automatically seeded into the venue stages of first two major ranking events of the season, Waxy Classic and Australian Open, only to be beaten on both occasions by Robert Milkins and Ryan Day respectively. He was then whitewashed by Steve Davis in the qualifying for Shanghai Masters, making it three consecutive first-round defeats for him. Higginson broke the streak by beating David Gilbert to reach the main draw of the International Championship, 
but was beaten by Sean Murphy in the first round at the venue in Chengdu, China. He suffered yet another whitewash in UK Championship qualifying, losing to Liang Wenbo, and as a result fell to no. 29 in the world rankings. Higginson enjoyed more success in the minor ranking players tour championship events, reaching the semi-finals in Event 1 and European Tour Event 5. In the latter tournament he lost to Anthony McGill on a respot back, despite having been ahead at one point and his opponent having needed to snookers in the decider. Higginson went on to finish 13th on the PTC Order of Merit to qualify for the grand final for the third year in a row. Higginson's form improved in the second half of the season as he qualified for five of the six remaining ranking tournaments of the season. His best results were last 16 appearances at the German Masters and the Welsh Open. In Germany he beat Stuart Bingham before losing by the same scoreline to Neil Robertson, and in Wales he beat Michael Wassey before losing to Jeb Trump. At the PTC Finals Higginson was leading eventual tournament winner Ding Junhui in the first round, before losing. His season however ended in disappointment as he was beaten by Michael White in the final round of World Championship qualifying, to finish it ranked world number 22. Moving ahead, let's uncover the hidden gems within and discover their significance. Higginson beat Steve Davis in the first round of the 2013 Woxy Classic, before losing against Peter Lines. He was defeated in the qualifying round for the Australian Goldfields Open and, despite another win over Davis to qualify, was beaten in the wild card round of the Shanghai Masters by Lin Shui. Higginson exited the Indian Open in the last 32 and the UK Championship in the last 64. Higginson won two matches in a ranking event for the only time this season at the Welsh Open with victories over Martin O'Donnell and Jimmy Robertson, before Scott Donaldson came from down to eliminate him. Higginson had a very poor season in the eight European Tour events as his best finishes were for last 64 defeats to be placed at lowly 79th on the order of merit. He came within a match of qualifying for the World Championship, but lost to Dominic Dale. Higginson fell 14 places and outside the top 32 in the rankings during the year to end it 36th in the world. Brace yourself for an enlightening exploration of as we dive into its profound implications. At the Australian Goldfields Open, Higginson was defeated by home favourite Neil Robertson in the first round. He won three games to qualify for the Shanghai Masters, but was knocked out in the opening round by Mark Allen. A further first round exit followed in the international championship at the hands of Joe Swale before Higginson won his first match at the venue stage of a ranking event this season by beating Tuan Pengfi at the UK championship. He was eliminated in the second round by James Cahill. Higginson qualified for the China Open but lost to Judd Trump in the first round. He reached the final qualifying round for the World Championship thanks to wins over Scott Donaldson and Luca Brissel, and forced a deciding frame from against Robert Milkins which he lost. The defeat meant that Higginson has failed to advance beyond the last 32 of any ranking event in over two years. His decline in the rankings continued as he ended the season 48th in the world. Let's transition to and uncover its significance. After winning three matches to qualify for the Australian Goldfields Open, Higginson lost to Ricky Walden in the first round and he was knocked out in the same stage of the international championship by Yang Wenbo. Another opening round defeat in a ranking came at the UK Championship to David Grace. At the Guinea Open, Higginson defeated five players to reach the semi-finals but lost to Mark Selby. This saw him finish 15th on the order of merit and qualify for the grand final, where he was knocked out by Matthew Selft. Higginson failed to win a match at a ranking event for the sixth time this season when he suffered a loss to Yuan Sijin in the wildcard round of the China Open. His ranking slump continued as he was placed 56th in the world. Moving ahead, let's uncover the hidden gems within and discover their significance. Higginson won a first round ranking event match for the first time since the 2014 UK Championship by eliminating Mitchell Mann at the 2016 Indian Open, but lost against Oliver Lines in the second round. 
he was beaten by Robbie Williams in the third round of the Paul Hunter Classic. Higginson qualified for the European Masters by defeating Stephen Maguire and Ashley Hudgel and got to the last 16 of a full ranking event for the first time in over three years by whitewashing Marco Fu, but then lost to Jeb Trump. He was edged out after being up on Joe Perry in the opening round of the International Championship. After knocking out David Gilbert and Ricky Walden at the China Open, Higginson was close to making the quarter-finals as he was ahead of world number one Mark Selby, but went on to lose. Now, let's redirect our focus towards performance and rankings timeline and discover its significance in our narrative. Performance table legend LQS FDNQ NH not held means an event was not held. NO non-ranking event means an event S was no longer a ranking event. R ranking event means an event S was a ranking event. MR minor ranking event means an event S was a minor ranking event. Moving ahead, let's uncover the hidden gems within minor ranking finals, 1-1 title and discover their significance. Minor ranking finals, 1-1 title. Brace yourself for an enlightening exploration of non-ranking finals, 3-1 title as we dive into its profound implications. Non-ranking finals, 3-1 title. As we transition to the next segment, let's unravel the mysteries surrounding amateur events and gain a fresh perspective. Northwest Championship 1998 1999 Merseyside Junior Championship 1997 Northwest Pairs Championship 1996 Northwest Junior Championship 1995 I love hearing from you, so leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments.